So let me get this straight. The United States only needed to declare themselves as a only needed to declare themselves as a country to be a country. Israel only had to declare itself a country to be a country. Right? So then, you know, by leadership example, I guess that means that I can, as an occupant of the world, you know, declare the whole world, all of the world, my country. Right? I mean, you guys did it. Right? United States declared themselves owner of this land. It's not even their land. By inheritance rights, it's supposed to be my land. Well, since it's not inherited and handed to me, because other people are occupying space that doesn't belong to them, well, then I guess I'm going to have to declare occupation with the Palestinian protesting army, which includes more people than both those nations' armies. And let's see, people all around the world are on the side of Palestine. So I declared myself the head of Palestine. And, you know, since you want to take Palestine from the Palestinian people. Hmm. All right. So now I declare Palestine taking every other country. All of them. You know what that leads to, right? That means I'll take the United States. I'll take Israel, I'll take Canada, Mexico, Russia, Germany, France, all of the countries in South Africa, North Africa, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, you know, all those countries that support Palestine. I agree. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, yo. Sounds like a perfect plan. All right. Now, since I'm declaring that all my property, because, you know, declarations are all that matters. When it comes to taking land that does not belong to you. Well, I declare it, right? Well, that's the lesson that the leaders are pointing to us, right? I'm going to do it without a single dollar. I'm broke, yo. So, ain't nobody gonna stop me. It's not like I can pay charges, you know? I don't have money, right? How are you gonna pay for something you don't have? Uh, oh, I'll just make an occupation. So, with that said, I declare the world as Palestine. And now, I declare a name change from Palestine to Jerusalem, the Holy Land. Ain't that how it works, governments? You just declare it so it is? Well, I'm self-governing myself as such. Oh, who's going to stop me? Anybody? I should give you some information. I'm not mortal, for one. I have committed suicide 610 times. And died 612 times. One from murder and being a stillborn. Descended from heaven on earth as a stillborn. Conceived on Christmas. You know how you say my name in Hebrew? The Hebrewic? Language? My name 
that actually is Jesus Christ. Oh, isn't that the guy that's supposed to be God? Oh, well, then I guess I'll just recognize it. Oh, you guys gave me a title? I'm God? Huh, might as well accept it, right? What you fucking gonna do about it? I deem all other governments illegal in my one world government run by yours truly. So, any officers of other governments are hereby deemed as enemies of the people of Jerusalem. And, and, and get this, get this. That means everyone is a member Ooh, look at this new shit of Jerusalem! Want to see our flag? That's our flag. In respect to the Native Americans and the Palestines, I picked green, black, and white. We couldn't do red because red is blood. And, you know, I think my laws in this Jerusalem land, we're going to enforce the Ten Commandments. That means no killing. Oh, you're going to try to kill me, right? Oh, you can't. It's illegal. What you going to do about it? You see that? Took over the world. And what am I at? Almost. Hold on. We'll wait for it. I like this number. It's my lucky number. Seven minutes. Just took over the world in seven minutes, yo.